So you've heard about the law of attraction. What about the other universal laws? Greetings, greetings. Welcome to the weekly awakening. And uh, in this week's episode, we're going to continue upon last week's episode of the Universal Laws. So this week we're going to get into introducing all of the Universal Laws and mentioning a little bit about them before we begin the series of each Universal Law individually and how to harmonize with those. The first Universal Law that I like to cover is the Universal Law of Proper Perspective. Now the definition of the word perspective is the interrelation in which a subject or its parts are mentally viewed. Now, proper perspective is a way of viewing things from the best vantage point available. And the universal law of proper perspective is all about that. Viewing things within your life and within yourself from the best vantage point possible. The second universal law that I like to cover is the universal law of relativity. Now, as I said in last week's video, there are universal truths that describe these 13 universal laws. Now, the universal truth that describes the universal law of relativity is that the true nature of reality is connectedness. And that means that all of us are connected with each other, with everything. There is a connection, non-physical, that connects us with each other. The third universal law that I like to cover is the universal law of duality. The universal truth that describes this universal law is that there are two sides to every whole. Just as there are two sides to a coin, a heads and a tails, there is still only one coin. However, it can be viewed from either side, which then lies into harmonizing with the law of proper perspective. Which side do you look at? Which way of looking at this coin gives me the best vantage point to understand its whole entirety? The next universal law that I'd like to cover is the universal law of infinity. And the universal truth describing the universal law of infinity is that anything is possible. And it truly is. And stay tuned for the video on this so to understand more about how to harmonize with this law so that you can achieve what might seem impossible pertaining to the perspective that you're viewing it from. <laughs> now we make it to the universal law of attraction. And now this universal law probably needs less explanation than the others because it is the most popular and most well known by the majority of people aware of universal laws. So in the video describing this, I will mostly tailor it to how it connects with the other universal laws and how to harmonize and understand the other universal laws to be more in harmony with the universal law of attraction. Now, as you might know, one common universal truth describing the law of attraction is that like attracts like. Which now brings me to the universal law of cause and effect. The universal law of cause and effect is described as thought is cause and the manifestation of that thought is the effect. Now, as I mentioned in the first video on universal laws, these laws are universal. And so you can find these laws within many holy scriptures. And so the teachings of the Buddha, the very first verse of the Dhammapada speaks on this law, and part of that verse says, our lives are shaped by our mind. As you think, so you become. And that's one mantra I've had my entire life based off things that I've just come into this life understanding, is that we all create our own reality. Now to better understand how we are creating our reality brings us to the law of manifestation, or otherwise known as the law of believing and knowing. One thing to remember about the difference between believing something and knowing something is experience. And so wherever you're at right now, whatever the weather is, you know that that weather is that because you're experiencing it. Now I can call you up and ask you what the weather is, but no matter what you tell me, I just have to believe it because I'm not there experiencing it. I just have to believe whether what you're saying is true or not. But you cannot be told what the weather is where you're at because you're experiencing it. Another thing to remember about the universal law of believing and knowing is that the subconscious mind's duty is to fulfill the desires of the conscious mind. And through that process is where you will find the most power in harmonizing with this universal law of believing and knowing. Now we come to the universal law of divine birthright. 
The birthright is a right given to you upon birth. And the divine birthright is the rights given to you upon birth from the divine. These are ordained rights. And the first right that we have is imagination. And this is what separates us from animals. Animals have memory, animals have awareness, but yet animals lack imagination. And imagination is what is needed to create, create something new. And the next is free will, because since we are creating, we can choose what we create. Will is the ability to choose. And free will means that we can freely choose what we want to create within our lives. Now we move to the universal law of sacrifice. The universal truth described in the universal law of sacrifice is that there is a giving and receiving nature to the universe. The next universal law I'd like to mention is the universal law of abundance. A lot of people describe this universal law, as you give, so shall you receive. I like to say that when you aid others to become abundant, you will become abundant yourself. Now that brings us to the universal law of prosperity, and you harmonize with this law when you produce more than you consume. And the twelfth universal law is the universal law of evolution. Everything is always evolving. The nature of the mind is motion, and the nature of the physical is change. And we are all seeking to progress, making today better than yesterday, becoming better than we were before. And now that brings us to the 13th universal law. 13 is a number of mastery, and this law represents that. It is the complete law of creation. And it is the complete law because if you harmonize with this law, then you will be in harmony with all the other laws of the universe. That the true nature of reality is connectedness. And so that means that the divine, the creator, whatever name you want to use to describe the source of all life, we are each connected to this. And so the more that we align ourselves with the most high creator, then the more we are aligning ourselves with this complete law. The master teacher Jesus, the Christ, described this as, Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, and all else shall be given unto you. The kingdom of heaven is the Christ consciousness, or the Buddha consciousness, or cosmic consciousness, whatever name you want to label that level of awareness. And putting that at the forefront of everything that we do, we will then receive the things that we need. Well, this wraps up this week's episode. I'm really excited to get into all of these universal laws individually, go deeper with them, help you to understand them more. If you have any questions about the universal laws, shoot me an email. I'll try to put the answer to that question into that video pertaining to that universal law. And uh, be on the lookout for these videos coming out in the next couple weeks and month. And uh, until then, peace.